Hey guys, this is Taylor Clay Pack back in again with another video and today I'm going to be discussing my opinions on all of the Home Depot animatronics for this year. I'm pretty sure I got them all. <laughs> Some of these you'll probably notice that I've already discussed before because I did a video where I discussed some of them but I didn't like talk about all of them or anything. But now that I know pretty much what everything does for the most part, I'm going to be discussing my opinions on all of them overall. So I guess uh, without further ado, let's just kind of uh, get into it here. Okay, so first off, we got this Inferno Reaper. I love the way he looks. I think he is awesome. I actually really like this guy. I like how his eyes light up. I like how the chest lights up. I love the head movement. I love how fluent the head movement is. It's almost kind of like a Grimm's head movement from Spirit Halloween. I think it's pretty cool and I actually really like him. Um, next here we got these pumpkin twins. I actually really like these. I like their heads. I love the way that the heads look and I love the faces and I love their mouth movement. I also really like their voices as well. I think that they go pretty good with them. Just the only thing is I kind of wish that they had more than one phrase to be honest with you. <laughs> Other than that, you know, I, I really do. I really do like them a lot. They're pretty cool. Now up next we got this 12 foot inferno pumpkin skeleton. I remember before I, I did talk about this guy and I did say that I wasn't exactly sure of how I felt about him, although he's like still pretty cool and whatnot. It's just he seemed like weird to me or something like that. I don't know what it is. He like after a while he just kind of started growing on me. I have seen like a couple more videos of him and yeah, it's just like I don't know. He just he kind of just grew on me a bit. He is pretty cool though. I like how he has like the light up uh, mouth and the chest and stuff, almost as if it's kind of like a flame in a way. I like the face on him and the digi eyes, of course. It's pretty cool. Up next, we have this man-eating plant. I remember it seemed like a lot of people uh, were pretty interested in this one when we, like everyone was first like talking about some of the Home Depot stuff. It is a very unique item. I really like, you know, how he has that body turn. I like how he like lunges outward, I guess. You know, he has like that forward body lean. My guess with this one though at first was that like I, I thought that maybe he was like gonna growl or do like some sort of noise or something. I, I don't know. I didn't really think that he was like gonna actually talk, but he actually says phrases and the phrases are, you know, they're kind of meh in a sense, you know. But overall, I mean, he's still really, really cool. Like, I, I really like the look of him. I, he's just awesome overall. I just wish, I kind of wish that they came up with some better phrases a little bit on this guy. But as I said, he's still very cool though. Up next we have this Grave Warrior. Now I'm just gonna say this right now, stuff kind of like this guy or like King and Queen, uh, I guess, sort of items, like you know, like for Halloween, it's, normally I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of that sort of stuff for Halloween necessarily, you know what I mean? Uh, but that's just me. <laughs> But as for this guy, I mean, my main guess was that he was probably just gonna have the mouth movement and head movement, but he also has a body turn. And I don't know what, I don't know how or what it was, but it's like after seeing what he does, he actually kind of grew on me and I actually like him. I do like his outfit though. I mean, it's, he has a cool outfit. I like the boots on him and he is pretty cool. I mean, <laughs> I gotta say, I didn't really think that I was gonna like him very much to be honest when I first saw it, you know, but then after seeing what he does, it was just like, okay, wow, he's, he's actually pretty cool. All right, so up next is this uh, Jack and Sally. Now there was a Jack and Sally that did come out in like 2018 at Spirit Halloween. And even when I first saw those, I did like those. And you know, when I heard that there was gonna be new ones for this year and that they were gonna sing, I remember even mentioning this in a previous video too. I, I was like, yeah, I don't know how I really feel about that. I don't know how that's gonna be or something like that. I thought it was just gonna be something not too interesting. You know what I mean? I thought it was just gonna be kind of weird or something. I, I don't know. I didn't really know what to make of it, to be honest with you. But after seeing these guys and you know, what they do and stuff like that, like Jack, he still has that animation with his hand, you know, like when he does this with his hand. It's actually really cool. I, I, I love that, you know? Even when I saw the first Jack, I was like, dang, that is awesome. I just, I love that animation. Very unique and very cool. I like that he sings, but it's like, I don't know if I like, if he sings more or if he says the phrases more. Well, actually, maybe the phrases is better. 
I mean, I don't know. That's just my personal opinion on it. But, I mean, I still like the fact that he sings, and I like the song that he sings as well. And as for Sally, I personally like this Sally much better than the other one. You know, like, with the, the blinking eyes on the 2018 one, it, it was just weird, you know, because when you think about it, it's like, the way that it was made, you know, because it's like, it's not like the eyelashes were, like, attached to, like, the eyelids or anything. It's not like they made it like that. So it was weird when you like see the eyes close and then you just kind of see the lashes that are still like on the head, you know what I mean, with how it's made. And plus when the eyes close, it was like really weird because of like the motor for the eyes and it was kind of loud it seemed like. So I, I like this one more with the head tilt and it has a nice fluent head tilt, which is good, you know. And you know, she still looks great though, by the way, I, I, I like it. Okay, so up next now we have this Headless Horseman. I like the way he looks for the most part. I mean, he's pretty cool. I thought he would do more, to be honest. I thought that he would honestly have, like, some sort of body turn or something. It's just, you know, he he has the uh, moving mouth. And, you know, it's kind of cool. Um, and, you know, like, part of, like, the eyes uh, light up. I know that as well. Which is cool. But I don't know. It's just not too, too interesting, you know, just because I thought that he would have, like, a body turn movement or something. That's all. That's just me, but... Uh, yeah, that's just kind of how I feel about that one. Alright, so next we have Fairy of the Dead. Now, I love the look of this one. I love the detail of this overall, you know? <laughs> I also, uh, I like how it has, like, the lantern on one end that lights up, and I like how, like, the skull on the other end and has, like, the eyes that light up too which is really cool. I like how it has like the little skeletons there and just, you know, some little details of that as well. I also really like how, you know, the the head lights up red. That's really cool about it. Just overall, you could already tell. I just, I, I love the look of this thing. It's awesome. It looks incredible. Just my only thing is the voice. I don't like the voice. I'm, I'm just not a big fan of the voice. But overall, this prop is really cool. Now up next we have this uh, king and queen of the underworld. Now as I said before, not the biggest fan of warrior type or king and queen type stuff necessarily for Halloween personally, but um, yeah, I don't know. There are like some stuff about these guys that I do like though, it's just, you know, I, I don't know. I <laughs> Say like if I had the opportunity to like get these two or something, like if I could, like if I had the room. I, I just wouldn't, personally. That's just me. With the queen, though, I do like her dress. I don't like her face. Also, just me personally, I just don't like the fact, you know, she has the ventriloquist dummy type look on her freaking face. Like, you know, the dummy mouth, I guess you could say. I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> and then there's the king. I mean, I don't even know what to say about him. I mean, his face is alright, I guess. The outfit's okay. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to make of these two, just honestly, I really don't. <laughs> Up next we have this uh, mad scientist. Something I do find pretty cool about this guy, well, more so these guys, is the fact that it's like the beaker and, you know, uh, the hair. Uh, I think the hair on both of them. And then there's the eyes too that light up as well. Yeah, that all like lights up. I also like how like when he says like after he you know pulls the lever or whatever how you know it you know shocks the little dude and you know when that happens it's like he shakes and that's something that i find pretty cool about it my main guess on this i believe that the arms are posable on this because i remember there was a linked video on it at one point and me and one of my friends were talking about it and you know we were both just like you know, we were like talking about the arms, you know, as to how the arms were in the video and it was like really weird because he was like talking about how he was gonna pull the lever and it's like how his arms were. It's like how the how the hell can he like pull a lever? You know what I mean? Like I don't even know. We were just kind of talking about it and that's just what kind of came to mind. And we both just kind of found it a little weird. <laughs> but I mean, he is pretty cool for what he is. Not exactly, I guess, my favorite necessarily, but I mean, he, like I said, I mean, he's kind of a cool, like, mad scientist prop if you want to get something like that. I mean, I like it, like, he's alright, but yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> so up next we have this little three-foot reaper. I like the look of him, I think he looks cool. I don't really have too much to say about it, though, necessarily, I mean, he does look pretty cool, though. And I, I like it, you know? Up next we have this, uh, Jittery Jessica, I believe it's called. 
This is pretty cool because it actually like does like a face reveal type of thing. The audio on this thing is genuinely creepy. It's almost like a creepy doll type of uh, thing here. It's pretty cool though, I mean. <laughs> Just like that audio, I remember when I first like saw a video of this thing and then it's like the freaking audio is like what got me. It was just like, what? That's actually kind of creepy, but you know, it's a good thing that's creepy. I mean, that's the point. Halloween's coming up, of course, but you know what I mean? It's just crazy and that's something that kind of made it grow on me. And it's kind of cool, you know, a cool little item to have, I'm sure. And that's kind of what makes it pretty cool as well. Now we have this Inferno Scarecrow. I like the other one personally better than this one because it it's just the clothing, you know, just all the green. I still like how it has that, you know, crazy arm movement on it though. <laughs> that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's just my take on that one. Up next now we have this three-faced jester. I love the arm movement on it. I love like how he can like put his mask like up to his face and stuff. That's something really cool about it. And I like the detail of his hands. I really like his face. I like how he has those uh, three masks and stuff. And I, I like the outfit too. I mean, he's pretty cool. I actually really like this guy. And once again, it's like with the phrases, you know, it's like meh. But I mean, he's still a pretty cool prop and I, I do like him. Up next, we have this Jack in the Box. Now, this is basically like another variant of the one from last year. Now, you see he's got like all the red going on here, and he actually has hair. And I'm sure that this one has a lot of detail as well. And you know, I really like both of them, and I'm and sure, pretty sure that this guy does the same thing as the other one. But my personal take on this, I just, I like the look of the other one better than this one. That's just me. <laughs> I believe I said that in a previous video too. Now up next we have this Haunting Ghost Bride. I believe that's what she's called. She ha basically has like the movement kind of like, you know, W. Ray from Spirit Halloween or Party City's Lady of the Grave. And the movement is cool, I'll admit. That, that's something I like about this. This isn't like a prop that I'm super like excited for or anything like that, but I mean still, it's, it's cool. And up next we have this animated monster is what it's called, but it's like a Frankenstein. It's like he's getting shocked in the brain or something. You know, he says, I'm alive. I know that. It's not something I'm super psyched for. I mean, I like the fact that he shakes as if like he's getting shocked in a sense and whatnot. But I don't know what it is. It's like, I don't know. It's not like he does too much. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. It's just not one of my favorites. Now up next, we have the spell casting witch. She looks cool. I know that there's a part of the phrase or phrases or whatever that she says that I've heard on quite a few witches. So it's just, it's not something I'm super excited about. Although, like I said, I like the look of her. You know, she looks cool. It's just the phrases. I just, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so next we have Dark Angel. Now this one I actually happen to really like. He's got the head movement. He's got the wings that, you know, like they actually move and the lights there they actually change colors and it's really really cool i actually really like this one there's not too much to necessarily say for me but it's just i i really love the look of it you know it's really really cool i just think it's awesome and then last but not least we got uh this waving clown i think it's called like mr moldy or something <laughs> i don't know i believe it is i know he says that in like uh, some a couple of his phrases, I believe. And I know that there was another one of these from like last year and he had like a bunch of polka dots on his outfit, but now he has a different outfit. I like the fact that he has cotton candy in his hand instead of like say like a lollipop or a cage or something because I mean, we've seen a crap ton of this stuff like with, with like clowns and whatnot that have uh, uh, like a lollipop or a cage or something like that. Or even like a kid, you know? But that's something that makes it different, you know, which is nice. He's not necessarily like one of my favorite clowns or anything like that, but I mean, he's still pretty cool. That basically concludes it really for like my opinions on some of this Home Depot stuff. Well, really all the Home Depot stuff. I'm pretty sure I got all of it. I hope I did. I'm pretty sure I did, but you know. It's me of all people. Watch me end up forgetting something on accident. I don't, I don't freaking know. <laughs> but anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And, you know, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a post from me. And I will see you guys in the next video whenever that may be. So, yeah. Bye.